Hello, this is Eddie, and here I am with another calculator tip. Today we're going to go over how to calculate net present value, net future value, and net utility the stream. net utility stream answers the question, what if each cash flow was equal? There are advanced financial calculators that will calculate net future value and net utility stream. For example, the BA2 Plus Professional from Texas Instruments has a calculation for net future value. The HP 17B2 Plus has both net future value and net utility stream. Most financial calculators will calculate net present value. There are some advanced financial calculators such as the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus Professional that will calculate net future value automatically. And then you got from Hewitt Packard HP 17B2 Plus that calculates both net future value and net utility stream automatically. Even if you don't have these advanced automatic calculations in your calculator, this video is going to show you how to get the net future value and net utility stream by using the cash flow application and the time value of money application. I'm going to demonstrate this process through an example and the calculator I'm going to use for this particular example is the BA2 plus financial calculator from Texas Instruments however you can apply this to most financial calculators say we have an investment where we have to invest $1,000 three periods of payments to us are going to follow first in the amount of 500 then a thousand, then fifteen hundred dollars. Let's assume the discount interest rate for each period is four point five percent. What is the net present value? Also, what are the net future value and the net utility stream? Remember the net utility stream answers the question, what if all these flows are equal? The first thing I'm going to do is to calculate net present value. So I'm going into the cash flow application and I'm going to clear the cash flows. My initial cash flow is negative one thousand dollars. The first cash flow is going to be five hundred dollars. The second cash flow is one thousand dollars. And the third cash flow is one thousand five hundred dollars. Now I'm going to calculate net present value by first entering 4.5% as my periodic interest rate and computing net present value I get $1,708.64. I'm going to store this amount in memory. Now we are going to use the time value of money keys to calculate net future value and net utility stream. First net future value. How we're going to set it up is this. And it's going to contain the number of cash flows, not counting the initial cash flow. Interest is going to contain the discount rate per period. The present value register is going to contain the negative of net present value. Payments per year is going to be set to 1 and payment is going to be set to zero and we are going to calculate future value which this represents the net future value from here I am going to calculate net future value so I'm going to exit out of the net present value application and I'm going to clear my time value of money variables we have three flows not counting the initial cash flow so 3 goes to n 4.5 as the periodic interest rate I'm going to set one payment per year one second p slash y 
I'm going to hit second quit to get out of there and we're going to set the net present value as the present value register except we're going to negate this value so negative one thousand seven and eight dollars and sixty four cents set it there zero is going to be in payment and I'm going to compute future value to be one thousand nine hundred and forty nine dollars and eighty five cents that is your net future value the strategy for net utility stream is very similar to the strategy we will use to calculate net future value. The only difference is we're going to set future value, FE, to be zero, and we're going to calculate payment. Everything else pretty much stays the same. Now I'm going to calculate net utility stream. The values for N, which is 3, interest rate per year, 4.5, and PV, the negative of the net present value, which is negative $1,708.64, remain the same. I'm going to enter zero for future value and compute payment, which the answer is $621.56. So if I was to redo this investment, but demand that all my payments are equal, you're going to get $621.56 each period. I hope you found this video helpful. You can check out my blog at Eddie's Math and Calculator blog at edspie31415.blogspot.com. Thank you.